you're watching just the news i'm amit balachandra straight up to our top story the rupee has touched an all time low of 81.67 rupees against the us dollar today the rupee had breached the 81 rupee mark for the first time on friday now foreign exchange traders have attributed the escalation of geopolitical uh, risk in ukraine uh, and the rate hikes by the united states federal reserve for uh, the dwindling value of the rupee Now recently finance minister Nirmala Sitaraman at an event on Saturday said that the rupee has held back very well when compared to other currencies against the US dollar uh, she said and I quote if any one currency which has held its own and did not get into fluctuation or volatility as much as other currencies it is the Indian rupee we have held back very well end quote Meanwhile, uh, BSE Sensex slipped 954 points to close at 57,145. Nifty slumped by 311 points to finish trading at 17,016. Now, this comes amid concerns that the Reserve Bank of India could further high key, uh, key interest rates uh, in its bi-monthly uh, monetary policy meeting scheduled later this week. Also in the news uh, six air force officials have been booked for murder uh, days after a 27 year old student was found dead in air force uh, technical college hostel in bengaluru according to reports he was found hanging in his hostel room allegedly after being discharged from service following a court of inquiry the police said a note was recovered from the hostel room that allegedly named six people no arrests have been made so far the family of the deceased have alleged that the cadet was murdered they also alleged that he was harassed and tortured on the college campus now a senior a senior officer told pti and i quote the reason behind the death is yet to be ascertained our investigations are on end quote IAF in the meantime in a statement has said and I quote termination of uh, training was a result of recommendations made by a court of inquiry which was initiated following a complaint by a fellow woman trainee officer against the under trainee a uh, flying uh, officer on the 30th of June IAF is cooperating with the investigation being conducted by the police on the matter end quote Also in the news according to a report by Live Law senior advocate Mukul Rothgi uh, has declined the government's offer to be the next attorney general of India he told the Indian Express that there was no specific reason behind the decision Mr Rothgi uh, was the attorney general uh, from June 2014 to 2017 and had argued for the center in the triple talaq case and the aadhar case in the supreme court among other high profile matters as well uh, the term of the incumbent attorney general of india v uh, k k venugopal uh, abeg pardon is ending on the 30th of september an update on uh, the ankita bandari murder case uh, according to ndtv ankita bandari's mother has alleged that her daughter was hastily cremated and that she could not allegedly see the body Now the um, Ankita Bandari was murdered in Uttarakhand following that there were massive protests as well news reports had earlier said that the mother was admitted to a hospital as she was unwell however she has claimed that she was fine and was ferried to the hospital on false pretext now provisional post mortem report stated that the teen died due to drowning and that her body bore signs of injury caused by blunt force the teen was murdered allegedly by the hotel's owner She worked as a receptionist uh, at a resort owned by Pulkit Arya, the son of former Uttarakhand minister Vinod Arya. The three accused men have now been uh, sent to judicial custody for 14 days. Uh, they've been booked under sections of causing disappearance of evidence uh, of offence and murder in the IPC. Also in the news. Uh, and this is political crisis in rajasthan rajasthan congress has plunged into crisis as gelot loyalists threatened to resign with over 90 mlas heading to meet the speaker and pti has reported that there was no word however from the speaker's office on the resignations according to a report by ndtv the mlas refused to attend a meeting with two central party leaders ajay makan and malikarjun kharge declaring that they will not accept ashok gelot's rival sachin pilot as the rajasthan chief minister 
If you remember, uh, both Gehlot and Pilot uh, were at loggerheads over the Chief Minister's post soon after the Congress won the Assembly uh, elections in December 2018. The Congress High Command then chose Gehlot as the Chief Minister for the third time while Pilot uh, was made his deputy. Now, uh, also incidentally, this comes ahead of uh, Mr. Gehlot, um, and this is all speculation that he will file his nominations for uh, the Congress presidential post. Uh, he had hinted, however, that he would do this uh, earlier uh, in a conversation with the NI. Uh, Shashi Tharoor, however, has confirmed that he will contest the poll. Uh, in fact, there were reports that his representative collected the nomination uh, papers as well, and he was f the first person uh, to do so. If elected as Congress President, Gelot may have to give up his uh, chief ministerial post because the Congress has a rule of one man, one post. Now, according to Indian Express, he has also said that the likelihood of Sachin Pilot becoming the next chief minister of Rajasthan is also a sensitive issue. The elections for the next Congress uh, presidential polls will be held on the 17th of October. Meanwhile, while uh, talking about the 90 MLAs uh, who are now revolting, Congress leader Ajay Markan has said that the MLAs showed indiscipline by skipping a legislative party meeting. Uh, party chief Sonia Gandhi, uh, and this is according to reports that have just emerged, uh, has asked him to uh, and his colleague Malika Junkarge to submit a written report about the crisis in Rajasthan. Also in the news, former Congress leader and uh, Jammu and Kashmir uh, Chief Minister, former Chief Minister Gulam Nabi Azad has launched his new party called Democratic Azad Party in Jammu. Now he also unveiled the flag of his new party featuring mustard, white and blue colour. He had quit the Indian National Congress in August this year. Moving on to international news right now. Uh, disturbing news coming in from Russia, where at least 15 people were killed in a shooting at a school in central Russia. Around 20 people were injured. Now, according to Russian officials, 11 children and 4 adults were killed, including 2 security guards and 2 uh, teachers. And this is according to a report by the BBC. The gunman killed himself at the scene, according to reports. He was a former student of the school. The reason for the attack, however, is yet to be ascertained. On to sports news now. Kenya's Eluid Kipchoge beat his own marathon world record by half a minute at Sunday's race in Berlin. The 37-year-old crossed the line in 2 hours, 1 minute and 9 seconds. Now, Kipchoge became just the second man to win four Berlin marathons. Also in the news, Indian pacer Julan Goswami announced her retirement from international cricket after the ODI series against England on Friday. In a statement, uh, Goswami said, and I quote, To my cricket family and beyond, so the day has finally arrived. Like every journey has an end, my cricket journey of over 20 years ends today as I announce my retirement from all forms of cricket, end quote. One piece of good news before we wrap things up here on this bulletin. According to PTI, a daily wage labourer from Goa Bipin Kadam uh, has built a robot to feed his 14-year-old differently abled daughter. And this is extremely inspiring because he does not have any technical knowledge or training. Uh, the robot was built as his ailing wife uh, wasn't able to feed the daughter. Now, the food uh, apparently is kept on the plate, which is part of the robot, and it feeds the girl who cannot move and lift her hands. On a voice command uh, specifying what she wants to eat, uh, like vegetable, dal, rice mix, etc., um, the Goa State Innovation Council has lauded Kadam for his innovation, which he has titled as Ma Robot and is providing him financial support to work on the machine further and explore its commercial viability as well. That brings us to the end of this bulletin. Thank you so much for watching.